Hello everyone. In this lecture or tutorial, I just uh, show you how to add Anaconda PowerShell prompt to Windows Terminal. If you like uh, Anaconda a prompt, uh, you can watch uh, my another uh, video. And in fact, like um, Anaconda PowerShell prompt, the PowerShell Windows PowerShell is little bit more convenient and powerful than uh, the uh, prompt. Uh, why I said that, I show you. Yeah, for example, I let's open the account, the PowerShell. Yeah, uh, just for one example, CD, we want to uh, change uh, our current working directly to uh, another folder, for example, in in D. Um, my lecture, uh, another subfolder, uh, we lead and lie this. We do this, but on the uh, Anaconda. We need to enter to D, D, the disk first, then CD, uh, my lecture, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But the PowerShell, you see, it's very convenient. We just CD D, uh, the, the whole path. Yeah. Also, uh, before to start to add uh, the Anaconda PowerShell prompt, prompt to Windows Terminal, uh, I um, maybe show you why it's necessary to do that. Uh, maybe somebody asked why we bothered to do that. Yeah, I just show you. First, you see, if we want to go to this uh, uh, working directly, uh, for example, D, we just go to D, and this folder, uh, we look at analysis. Uh, for example, here's a lot of uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook. We just right click, open in terminal. Here you see the Anaconda. I mean, here is the PowerShell. So we already uh, changed our uh, path to the working directly. Then we type Jupyter Notebook and start it. So it's very common. And other things, yeah, maybe I uh, show you, uh, explain also, we need tab, more tabs. This, this one running the Drupal notebook, but we need to install something uh, or use, uh, just use another, uh, you know, window, another tab, tab. So we can open more. Okay, if you are interested, just follow me to uh, do that. Uh, because I have added uh, the PowerShell, you see, just now I showed you uh, on the Windows terminal. So I have to uh, go to another uh, computer. I haven't uh, do this, uh, show you uh, step by step. Okay, let's search Anaconda PowerShell prompt. Here, Power Anaconda PowerShell prompt. This one. Right click, then open file location. We right click Anaconda PowerShell prompt Anaconda 3. We go to properties. We copy this target. Copy. Let's go to any text editor uh, like uh, Microsoft Word and uh, Notepad. Here, I just use the simple one. Go to new, 
text document. Yeah, you can use what you like. Let's open it and paste what we copied here. We move this part away. I mean, the information before PowerShell dot exe. We remove this part. We also remove this quotation mark. This single quotation mark. This quotation mark. We leave the semicolon. We remove this quotation mark and the quotation mark, the single and double at the end. Yeah. Okay. Then we go back to, we go back to this folder. If you closed, uh, close this window, you can search Anaconda Navigator, uh, yeah, from this search, uh, please. And then open, right click, open, um, his location. Yeah. Then come back again. Okay. Then we right click Anaconda Navigator and Anaconda 3. This one. We go to the property. No, we go to the change icon. We copy the path of the icon. We go to our text editor and paste here. It needs no any change. Yeah. Okay. Then we open, let's see the notes. We already finished this. We go to this add Anaconda PowerShell prompt to Windows Terminal. So we open Windows Terminal. We go to yeah here uh, setting. We open the JSON file. JSON file. We let's go down and see here into here. Command line powershell.exe, command line uh, cmd.exe. Uh, the easiest way we just copy the command, uh, the command prompt. The Windows 10, that means the order of this line, uh, on Windows 10, um, I, I think it's different. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you just copy it and paste after it. Just paste. Then we change this cmd.exe. We change it using this line we already added it. Edit this copy and go to this JSON file and replace the same cmd.exe pass but don't delete this quotation mark let's check quotation mark also there's a comma okay we add a new line uh, first, we change this guide, these numbers, uh, because all these numbers are unique uh, in this file. So, we just change this uh, four, I think, two or four, uh, the last uh, numbers. We change it to anything uh, such as, for example, five, six, Eight seven, yeah. You can change, um, yeah, something but different from this. The one we copied. Okay, then we add a new line here. 
code is first the quotation mark we code is i uh i boom then the colon quotation mark uh, and we just copy the second line we uh, in our text editor copy this is the icon we go to the JSON file we just paste here and also add a comma at the end looks like this we change the name is and uh, Honda our shell I think we can this enough we delete this from yeah make it shorter okay another thing is, uh, we have to change this backslash all the backslash the single to double we add one here here also here here everywhere and this part okay then here also the icon uh, like double we add another one okay i think we add all uh yeah all the things if you don't use double um backslash there's an error okay let's go to file and save it no let's close don't see you no let's go to this windows terminal no click this down arrow you see and encounter powershell and this is the icon you see it's very good very um handy in the future when you use okay thank you hope see you in the next lecture. Thank you.